Wasn't it great? Yeah! And for those of you thinking, oh, that sounds like a great book, where can I get it? You can get it after the screening of the room outside. Cheap. Cheap, 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 cheap. Okay, now I need your help. So help me in saying the biggest, you can shout it, you can sing it, just make sure that it comes from the bottom of your room-loving heart, a huge oh high mark on three. Are you with me? Okay, one, two, three. Oh high mark! Please welcome Mr. Prince's What did you think about Tommy's gene selling skills, right? <laughs> you know what, that's what really drew me to him when I saw him perform Shakespeare on the stage. <laughs> so I gotta find out who the hell this guy is. Um, so how many people here have not seen The Room? Oh shit, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys a really quick intro of what it's like to try to go out to dinner with Tommy. It's not easy. <laughs> Tommy Wiseau has always been an eccentric dresser, but on a late summer night in 2002, he was turning the heads of every model, weirdo, transvestite, and facelift artist in and around Hollywood's Pomp Restaurant. People couldn't stop looking at him. I couldn't stop looking at him. Even today, a decade later, I still can't unsee Tommy's outfit. Nighttime sunglasses, a dark blazer as loose and baggy as rain gear. Sand-colored cargo pants with pockets filled to capacity. Was he smuggling potatoes? A white tank top, clunky Frankenstein combat boots, and two belts. Yes, two belts. The first belt was at home in its loops. The second draped down and back to cup Tommy's backside, which was, he always claimed, the point. It keeps my ass up. Plus it feels good. And then there was Tommy himself. Short and muscular, his face as lumpy and white as an abandoned draft of a sculpture. His enormous snow shovel jaw his long, thick, impossibly black hair, seemingly dyed in magic marker ink, <laughs> currently sopping wet. Moments before we walked in, Tommy had dumped a bottle of arrowhead water over his head to keep this poofy stuff from afflicting his considerable curls. <laughs> he had also refused to let the Palms Valet park his silver SL500 Mercedes-Benz worried the guy would fart in his seat. <laughs> so, yeah, and then we decided we were gonna make a movie. 